what I'm about to show you the demonstrations of it is I'm reused a broth you know the soup broth what of a pork and vegetable roast soup so what I'm doing here is I can serve another meal let me see what I can do like this if I can get some of this out save it right I lit it and I take this over here so see how see how hot red burning right now well I'm not gonna do that so I might slow it down you see how this rough it got a little sand on the bottom of the, this pot so what I'm gonna do I'm skim it but I'm doing this way it's a, it's a lazy way okay alright And set it on there. I, I, I lose the chop. Okay, that's alright. I got another one. Okay. I gotta set this lamp up somewhere so I can get. This is the cooked rice, the leftover. I cooked them yesterday. But anyway, put it in there. Slowly, just a little bit. Even kid can do this. You can follow on this. Just don't put, don't throw the whole chunk. Don't flip your whole bowl in there. Just do a little bit, and it won't splash the hot food water on you. Okay, just a little bit. this this little thing is it's helpful when you cook rice soup and you put the lid on tight it gonna bubble and out and go all over the place so you leave leave a uh, chops let me lay it across there it gonna it depends on how creamy you want the rice, the little rice grain to be turned into like a rice soup paste. Then let it cook longer. So if you just want it just to have like a rice uh, soup into a rice soup paste, then you just, you know, determine um, how long you want it to sit on here and it's on... Um, When it's done, you're gonna have a delicious rice soup broth of pork and vegetable.